it's it's about that time, baby. We have to run. We have to run an NFL memes review back. Just like every week, just some absolute anarchy happens. This has to be, in recent memory, just one of the wildest NFL seasons, bro. There's so much has happened that you kind of forget about it, bro. Henry Ruggs, John Gruden, Urban Meyer. If, if any of those instances individually would have been the biggest thing in the whole NFL season, and that's just three from this season. You got Antonio Brown now, who honestly, before we even go into those, because I know there's going to be a lot of Antonio Brown memes. I literally feel bad. Everybody's clowning him and memeing him. Shit can be funny, but I feel like we're just watching a guy with CTE and severe crippling lifelong brain damage just break down before our eyes. And it's so sad. We got to let this simmer. Is it possible that he's just a nutcase? It's definitely possible, but I don't know, dude. With that being said, there's so much content. We haven't done one of these in a few months, so let's hop in, baby. We're on the best meme page in the entire planet, Ghetto Gronk. Let's hop in. There's literally so much, so much to go for here. Since the Browns cut Odell, Baker TDs, the wide receivers two, OBJ TDs three. By the way, this is from mid-December, okay? OBJ has had a touchdown in every game since. There were actually people who thought that Odell Beckham Jr. was the problem. And I must say, after watching Baker Mayfield these last few weeks, he looks horrible. Like, actually horrible. I am so happy for him that he secured all those brand deals. You know, all those commercials where he's like tending to the, tending to the stadium. I don't even know what company it's for, but that man is getting his bag because he's not getting his bag from another NFL team because he looks like shit. Joey Bosa's Halo tea bag celebration. <laughs> he's kind of a nerd, bro. Isn't it crazy to think that like six foot five, 250 pound Joey Bosa sits down and plays video games the same way that me and you do? Isn't that weird to think about? Urban Meyer's time in the NFL. <laughs> Bro, don't talk shit about my boy. My, I hope another team picks up Urban Meyer. Trevor Lawrence hearing Urban Meyer got fired. Bro, that whole Jaguars team was tweaking balls. That guy, apparently Urban Meyer was just the worst guy ever. The Jaguars bringing Urban Meyer to the facility. <laughs> well, what can I say? It's been great knowing you, SpongeBob. Good luck somewhere else. <laughs> I'm gonna miss you. <laughs> Bo huh? You, buddy. What's your name? Stan. Stan. <laughs> bro, I don't know if you guys saw that article. We talked about it on MMG Live, bro. Urban Meyer, like, kicked, physically kicked Josh Lambeau, and then Josh Lambeau came out about it. Josh Lambeau's a dude that I played Madden against last year. Great guy, he's hilarious. So I definitely, I definitely believe Josh Lambeau. And after that got reported, Urban got fired. So it seems to have pushed them in that direction. Jaguar players and coaches to Josh Lambeau after getting Urban Meyer fired. Hang us, we're Jacksonville and not going to be anything. It's a little different when you don't got boosters, Urban. Your team is ass. Yeah, I will say, I mean, who who is really going to win with that Jaguars team? But hey, you just, you still don't have to be Urban Meyer about it. Shut up, bitch. Yeah, Mahomes might have beat me, but the, at the end of the day, he has to go home to this. So who really won? You know what? Props to Jackson Mahomes. He has not been in the media for like a whole month straight. That is really impressive. We don't talk about that. Travis Kelsey really turned this into a game-winning touchdown. I have no idea how Travis Kelsey so consistently does this shit, bro. By the way, that Chiefs Chargers game was sick but he's not he's not even particularly fast i'm sure he's a relatively fast tight end but he's not known for being fast and he does this shit all the time the chargers defense on travis kelsey thanks for turning my check down into a game winner you bailed me out again he really turns that shit into a touchdown so often it's like half of Mahomes' yards sometimes stop giving me your toughest battles how are you still alive? The Chargers really do get the toughest beats of any NFL team. They're building character over there, that's for sure. NFL fans that hated Tom Brady in New England, but like him in Tampa. Tom Brady was a hero, I just couldn't see it. You know, that is so true. I hated Tom Brady so much more in New England. I low-key kind of like him in Tampa Bay. <laughs> Bro, please tell me this, this isn't real, is it? That's not real, is it? That audio has to be fake. Uh-uh, I don't believe that shit. No way. <laughs> it's back. I didn't think there'd be more. Oh, I love it. Is anybody in that building? We think there's a mediocre box safety who can't cover on the second floor. Uh, dude, why does Jamal Adams get so much shit though, for real? No one's saying he's at Reed, but he's a good player. Derek Carr trying to hold the Raiders organization together. Derek Carr is top three most clutch quarterbacks in the league. He has done it from time to time. Just haven't been. Oh. Uh, 
Mac Jones, when his run game and defense aren't carrying him. He froze. My guy hasn't moved for 40 minutes. It's, it's true. Bill Belichick trying to stop Jonathan Taylor. Mac Jones, when he can't hand the ball off every play and win with two completions. I'm all for the Mac Jones slander, dude. I'm all for the Mac Jones slander. Jamar Chase better win rookie of the year. I'm going to be pissed. Fuck it. Hunter Henry down there somewhere. Isn't it crazy that Hunter Henry has as many touchdowns as he does, bro? He is washed. He just lost to the NFL MVP. Unfortunately, it's going to be Tom Brady, but we still love to see it. Dread it, run from it. Dan Campbell arrives all the same. It really is crazy that we do this every year. I say it every single year. We always beat an insanely good team. We Our record will be like 2 and 16 or 2 and 15, whatever. We will beat a good team every year. We beat the Patriots when they won the Super Bowl one year. Kyler Murray and some dude on the Cardinals, he has been struggling. Although that game against the Cowboys, they were looking pretty good. Lions fans, after beating the Cardinals but losing the number one, overall. Technically, there's a little bit of football left to be played. If the Jaguars beat the Colts, but the Jaguars just got a fucking 50 burger put up on them by Mac Jones and the Patriots, okay? The Jaguars are not beating anybody. Want to see me go for two and lose? Want to see me do it again? They never talk about it when it's fourth and one and you go for it and you beat the Chiefs in week one. They never talk about it then. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? The Ravens, every time they go for two, they get him out It was Tyler Huntley in there, all right? That doesn't count for shit. Justin Tucker around the sideline watching the Ravens go for two. John Harbaugh after losing because he didn't kick a game-tying field goal. I'll fucking do it again. This is the one that I was talking about. Live look into the Bucks wide receiver room. Antonio Brown's got the little I'm Vax card. Well, this one's a little outdated because that uh, that wide receiver room doesn't even have Antonio Brown in it anymore. That really sucks for the Buccaneers, dude. As much as there's been so much shit about Antonio Brown, I think people forget how fucking good of an NFL wide receiver he is. He is so good. He really is. Top Brady without the most stacked wide receiver card in NFL history. <laughs> Dude, the Buccaneers looked sorry against the Saints. When your check to the refs bounced this week. Go fuck yourself, bitch. Oh. <laughs> I think he did say that to him. Wait, read his lips. He low-key might have. <laughs> you just lost to a backup tight end, wide receiver, running back, fullback, kick returner playing QB. The Bucs have been on a tear, bro. They damn near lost to the Jets. Saints defense when they played Tom Brady. It is so true. The Saints had more points put up on them by the Panthers than they did the Bucs. What's going on? I say right foot creep on walking with that even walk. Look around. <laughs> Who's the back who came for Kirk Cousins against the Packers? Sean Mannion? You don't realize how much you appreciate Kirk Cousins until Sean Mannion comes in. Justin, I have no idea what I'm doing. He's actually crying on the sidelines. That is tough. Justin Fields, if his wide receivers could catch. Yeah, it's aggressive. He's not that good. Pro Bowl snubs annual meeting. Cordero Patterson. That's a huge Pro Bowl snub. Absolutely, bro. Josh Allen absolutely should have been in the Pro Bowl. But the thing is, like, there's really no snubs. Snubs in the Pro Bowl. The Pro Bowl is just votes. That's how you get in a Pro Bowl. Person who lost didn't get snubbed. They just didn't get as many votes. So I don't know. I've always thought that's dumb. I don't know why people say Pro Bowl snub. <laughs> Bro, you know Michael Thomas. You know Michael Thomas is tweaking balls right now. You know Michael Thomas is pissed. Because Michael Thomas is finessing the Saints. He hasn't played football in like two years. He's just hanging on to his reception records and just riding the wave, getting paid. Ian Book reading an NFL defense. <laughs> Ian Book looked fucking sorry out there against the Dolphins. Saints fans, it's been tough. You went from Drew Brees to a Jameis Winston, Taysom Hill duo to Ian Book. That is tough. NFL teams are really out here getting blown up by dudes who kiss each other on the Lips after touchdowns. Don't tell Tom Brady about this, bro. Traverius Ward hit the gritty just to get mossed by Jamar Chase two days later. If Jamar Chase does not get offensive rookie of the year, I am going to ah, I'm gonna kill myself. Bengals fans, you better apologize to Jamar Chase. Not only did you think you should have drafted Panay Sewell over Jamar Chase, but you shit on the man in preseason when he was dropping the ball. Chris Collinsworth's bedroom. He does do a little bit of Packers slurping, bro. He be slurping. Raiders players don't get arrested. The challenge impossible. Zero days without arrest. Who did somebody on the Raiders recently get arrested again? Baker Mayfield after gifting Big Ben one last win. <laughs> Bro, 
low key, I, a hey, big tribute to Big Ben. I've always loved Big Ben, but he, did, he didn't do shit out there. He didn't have to do shit against the Browns. Oh my God, Baker looks so bad. The Browns look so bad. Najee Harris completely carried that whole game. Yeah. There's only one QB that can carry on Big Ben's. Chill, bro. Chill. The Steelers going from Big Ben to Deshaun Watson. Baker seeing TJ Watt coming off the edge on Black for the fourth time. You know, I will say TJ Watt potentially playing the Ravens could break the NFL single season all-time sack record. However, it's because they have an extra game. I mean, this should be the last game that the Steelers played as far as records go. And TJ Watt's at 21 and a half sacks. Michael Strahan's record is 22 and a half. So let's say he gets one and a half sacks against the Ravens. Do we have to put an asterisk in the records book or do you give him the 23rd sack and just call it a day? Big Ben, this is probably my last game at Heinz Field. Baker, same here. It is not, things are not looking good for Baker Mayfield. I am not gonna lie. Oh my God, we gotta stop, bro. Come on, Big Ben just, for, dude, this is the Big Ben. Come on, we can't be doing this. Hey, nobody is safe from Ghetto Gronk, I will tell you that. All right, boys, Um, I hope you enjoyed. This shit is so much fun. These are some of my favorite videos to make. I'm gonna keep switching things up. I don't wanna bore you guys. I'm excited to keep making bangers, but I don't wanna kill you with too much mad and stuff. So we'll keep, we'll keep getting weird here and there, yeah? All right, boys, I love you. Thanks for watching as always. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.